Bringing new products to market can take years. To accelerate the process, University at Buffalo researchers are developing advanced materials to create innovative technologies. They work within the university's New York State Center of Excellence in Materials Informatics, supported with funding from state and federal agencies and industry. There have been a lot of advancements in medical imaging, such as CAT scans. There's still a real need for imaging of even smaller structures. All people want to transmit more information, transmit it faster uh, when we browse internet. The process from initial discovery of a material uh, until its application in an industrial uh, setting takes 10 to 20 years. So part of what we do in my group is develop nanoscale materials that can provide contrast in those imaging techniques and new emerging imaging techniques so we can see uh, smaller structures, soft tissues like lymph nodes. Often with the same nanomaterials, we can evoke a therapy such as heating it up and releasing a drug or directly heating the nanomaterial to kill a tumor cell. The challenge is that formation goes through the fiber, uh, fiber optics, uh, which is nothing else but a glass tube. By combining this optical fiber uh, with very novel uh, materials called nanomaterials, uh, they uh, produce new properties uh, that allow us to structure light or to shape light uh, as a spiral and this way we hope to encode and transmit more information over that same fiber. In my group we're, we're working on a wide variety of uh, applications and predicting materials for those applications. It's thought that if we can integrate uh, computation into this materials discovery process then we will be able to cut down this time period to two to three years um, for designing a material for a specific application. It's happening here. It's happening now. It's happening at UB.